Hello and welcome to the start of our brand new playthrough of Pokemon Infinity. This game is one of the games that I've been looking forward to playing for quite a while. This game has a bunch of cool stuff. It has the good old things that everyone likes to see. It has Fakemon, it has a whole new region, it has a new story, it has an interesting level cap raise to level 150. I don't think we're going to need to go that high, but it does have it as an option you know, new legendaries, all of that stuff that people like to see. Obviously has the physical special split because that's uh, one of the most important things for games to have. Overall, a great game. We are going to jump right on into it and I will explain things as we go and get the story unraveling because there is a lot to say about this game. But I do want to jump right on into it. Hey, wake up. Come on, kid. Wake up. We'll be right here with you until you wake up. The spooky music activates. Their eyes. They're waking up. Be careful. Stand back. Can you hear me, child? I can read you, yes. Yes, I can. Good, good. Let's test your memory. Tell me, child. Do you remember anything about yourself? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy. Ah, I see. Boom. Genesis Horus. Whoa, kiddo, take it easy. You can get woozy if you get up too fast. You remember your name? I do, in fact, remember my name. I know. Surprising. Shocking. Have I forgotten it in the past? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So you're Carlos. Yep, that's gonna be me. Well, Carlos, my name is Professor Wormwood. This is my assistant, Lucy. Given that this is no place to recover, we'll escort you back to town. I think I've got the audio levels about right. You were brought to a nearby town and laid to rest. That sounds ominous. You fall back asleep for several hours. The music is less ominous, though. The music is just kind of countryside jamming. All right. So this game has uh, custom variations of starters. Think of it like your regional forms, almost, where it has uh, a bunch of starters that we can choose from. It will be the ordinary Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle with a twist. So we will get to that. But that is also an exciting part right at the start. Carlos, hopefully you will read this when you wake up. I'll be in my lab. Please stop by. It's the big building up on the hill. Wormwood. I guess we'll just go straight there, huh? Although, we do also have automatic item pickup. So any time that you would normally find a hidden item, you do not have to press uh, on the spots where the hidden items are. You just have to walk over it and your body will go, ooh, piece of candy, and it'll go down and grab the item for you without you having to like run around spam clicking on every single spot, which is very convenient. Makes them a little bit less hidden in a way, but I mean, it's still an invisible item, so they're still a hidden item. Carlos, hey, over here. Oh, hi. It's me, Lucy. I was one of the people who helped you out of the forest. I see that Marrow. You may have noticed a brown Marrow down there. We will have, we'll have the Azumarill. <laughs> I think Professor Wormwood wanted you to stop by when you got up. <laughs> who? <laughs> Professor Wormwood? Mm, he must not be around here. He from around here. Is the Professor here in Echo? I don't know how to say this properly. I kind of want to say it like Echo. Like, Ego? Also, I don't know if that's correct. I'll probably pronounce it a variation of ways throughout the playthrough. I apologize for getting it wrong over and over again. Sometimes it will be right, sometimes it will be wrong. It's like a 50-50 gamble. He studies Pokemon and stuff. Or at least he used to. He's getting a little less ambitious in his old age. Follow me. I'll bring you up to the lab. I see that Maril. I want that Maril. There's also some uh, Pokemon in this game that were, like, cut from the original games. Like, there's the evolved form of Pikachu. Or I should say the evolved form of Raichu. Gorachu is in this game. So there is a lot of interesting things. I have played a little bit of this before, as I did go ahead and do a Soul Link with a friend. But that means that I haven't used the vast majority of Pokemon in this game. And I'm excited to use a lot more and, and actually experiment with the Pokemon in this game. Uh, rather than have them all die. <laughs> This is the professor's lab. Feel free to look around. He is waiting for you on the other side of the room. Take your time, though. I'm sure he's in no rush. Oh, and don't mind the mess. The professor can get lost in books pretty quickly. Do you have any goodies? The professor wants me to study this book. What good is knowing what species are native around the area? I don't care about catching Pokemon. I just want to study them. Oh, I suppose I need to catch them to study them. That makes sense. That does help. Constant data entry is mind-numbing, but a necessity for scientific progress. 
Hey, I see those balls over there. I help the professor with the more modern aspects of Pokemon research. He's a little more old school. We strike a nice balance that way. Hey. Hey, give. Give. Hi there. Ah, yes, Carlos. So glad to see you up and moving around. Surely you're feeling better by now? I was hoping I could talk to you for a bit before you inevitably went on your way. Please, follow me. You can enjoy the fresh air. Lucy? Did you need something, Professor? Yes, thank you. Can you coordinate what we discussed earlier? Is this giving me goodies? I would like I would like my friends to appear in front of me to choose them. Absolutely. I'll have them ready in a jiffy. No one says in a jiffy anymore. Can we bring that back? Can we bring back people saying in a jiffy? Thank you, Lucy. Come with me, Carlos. People also need to say icky more, because that's my favorite word, and I don't hear it enough. I've lived here for a long time, Carlos. I've met hundreds of people. All the characters you can imagine have crossed paths with me here in Echo. Adventurers, trainers, traders, business people, farmers, even people from completely different regions. The thing is, Echo is a small island region. When someone new touches foot here, there isn't a soul on the island that isn't made aware in under a day. So why does no one know who you are? Well, 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 seems like I have some secrets. We found you in the forest with nothing but what you have on you. No tracks, no records of any planes or boats coming or going for weeks. Pulled around the region, and no one seems to have any idea who you are. Why do you think that is? Well, I have some great options here if I don't know and no idea, so, you know, no idea. That's what I was afraid of. No memories to help solve this mystery. Let me ask you, you know what a Pokemon is? I do. Okay, good. That means your brain hasn't suffered as much as I had feared. I'm really curious what would have happened if I had said no now, but too late, I guess. <laughs> Just takes me in for experimentation to stop probing at my brain. This is my Pikachu. We've been partners for years. My Pikachu has protected me over and over again on our many adventures. I believe that in order for you to figure out why you're here, and where you came from, you're going to have to traverse this island. It wouldn't be wise to do that without a partner of your own. Let us return to the lab. Yes, let's. let's. I don't think we can choose Pikachu or Eevee. I think we can catch them as we go on, so it won't be our starter, but we could find them. There is custom Eeveelutions as well, another feature that I didn't mention right at the beginning that I forgot, because um, things will come back to me as I go through. I should have really brought a list up on the site, but there is custom Eeveelutions, which everyone always loves. I have three Pokeballs behind me that contain young and inexperienced Pokemon. Like I said, if you're going to be traveling around the island, you're going to need a partner to protect you. Then why would I get someone inexperienced? Just give me a legendary. <laughs> so please, Carlos, go ahead and take a look. Pick who you want to be by your side. This is the first dilemma. I have one of these in my mind that I probably won't take. That is this Bulbasaur. On the one hand, I love Bulbasaur. I do. Bulbasaur, my favorite of the free starters, getting a regional form of Bulbasaur is very cool. However, Bulbasaur in this game is a grass rock type. I know this. I have, I have a little bit of prior knowledge. I know, rare. Rare for me to come into it with actual knowledge on a game, but I do have a little bit of prior knowledge. This is a grass rock type. It is a cool type. It's like Cradelia. It's actually got a pretty good defensive um, typing, which is surprising because grass is normally pretty bad. But it has a good defensive typing. We are going to take a different rock type, though, because I know that the Maril in this game is a rock type, and I want that. So I'm not going to be taking Bulbasaur. The other two, though, are fair game. Charmander is a fire dragon, which is a very good rare typing, and it is something to definitely consider. Squirtle is water flying. Squirtle is a Pokemon that I don't take as my start a very option. Very often, sorry. It's the rarer option for me. Getting a little bit tongue-tied over myself. Uh, so I might take Squirtle. It's definitely different than what I would normally take at the start of a playthrough. And I like that. So I think we'll take Squirtle. The reason I normally don't take Squirtle in playthroughs is because normally we get a different water type uh, pretty pretty commonly, all right? There's normally a decent water type that you can pick up pretty early that you'll want Surf on and stuff. I think we'll take the Squirtle. Cool. What do we want to nickname you? What if we called you Jiffy? 
What if we bring back people saying in a jiffy by calling our star a jiffy? This is a horrible name and I love it. Perfect. A fine choice, Carlos. I trust you and your new partner will get along great. With a Pokemon at your side, you should be able to explore this island in search of answers. You should visit an old colleague of mine who lives northeast of here. They run the lighthouse. If anyone can help you figure out how you got here, it's going to be them. The name's Professor Form. They're one of the smartest people I know. Don't tell them I said that, though. It'll go to their head. I'm going to give you one of these as well. It's a Pokedex. It'll help you keep track of the other Pokemon you meet. That noise sparks the little happy dopamine section in my brain. Here's a handful of items that will aid you on your journey. Do we get Pokeballs from the start? A variety of healing items and a town map. Well, good luck, Carlos. Remember, you can always rest in my guest house, and you can always come to us for help. Wish you the best. What healing items did we get, actually? I am a little bit curious. Uh, we got two potions, an antidote, and a revive. It's a very early revive. Also, five Oran berries, which to be honest, we could put on our Squirtle right now, but we'll save them for uh, more important fights. Can we go upstairs and get anything up here? There's a PC. Computer is off. The monitor has a light layer of dust on its surface. My monitors do not have a light layer of dust. They have a caking of dust. <laughs> I do not dust. A note with Silphco printed at the top. Read it. Sure. Dear Professor Wormwood, we have received your request for introductory Pokemon trainer package and have submitted it for processing. As soon as our officers have confirmed the order, our field agents will be dispatched to catch the requested amount of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Have them promptly and humanely shipped to you. Estimated deliveries between 6 and 12 weeks. You'll be notified of any changes to your order. Best regards, Silphco. I don't know if I like the fact that he's ordering from Silphco. Hey. Wow, what a cute Pokemon. I bet you're going to be a great trainer. Shall we have a look at our good old Squirtle then? We have ourselves a quirky, neutral-natured Squirtle with Overcoat. Not Torrent. Okay. Uh, e in speed, for because I think that's showing IVs. I'm not going to worry too much about IVs, but overall, C is, is meh. Our best stat is attack, but I feel like we're going to be a special attacker. Water flying. That just screams Rain Dance Hurricane, right? It, it screams it. Hey, hey, you want to hand over your Pokemon? There's nothing like having a partner by your side. Teamwork can help you tackle any obstacle. Give, give me the Marrill. <laughs> hand them over. What are you doing in here, old man? You say it is a mystery how you got here. Does anyone really know how they got where they are? Uh, yes. You remember be beginning your life somewhat. I, I can sort of remember the traces of, of places where I have lived to get to this point somewhat. I, I would say yes. Isn't technology incredible? Our technology has been advancing exponentially for years. On a long enough timeline, logic would dictate that we'd be able to create lifelike simulations. Ah, that'd be crazy. What do we have up here? Hey, you look like a young, ambitious trainer. My kid doesn't want this Pokemon egg. Would you like to have it, sure? Okay. I don't, I don't think I did this in the, the short bit that I played of this before. Oh, hey there. I was just saying goodbye to my dad. I'm on my way to the professor's lab. Oh, sorry. My name is Teal. Oh. Hello, rival. I'm going to get a Pokemon from the Professor Wormwood and train it to be the strongest around in my dreams since I was real young. I can't wait to finally begin my journey. Anyway, time to fulfill my fate by taking on the Echo Council Challenge. Uh, explain. Oh, you don't know? Echo Council Challenge is where you go around Echo and battle uh, each member of the Echo Council. Stop making me say Echo because I don't know if I'm saying it right and you're making me conscious. They are some of the strongest trainers in the region and help maintain and contribute to life here on the island. If you beat them, they give you a badge in honor of your victory. Well, better head off. I hope to see you around. Rival acquired. Can we get uh, Moomoo Moo Milk in here? I need I need Moomoo's. Moo Still was excited to see the running shoes I got them. They ran out of here while saying something about holding Z, whatever that means. I was already doing that, so that's fine. I don't need that information, but good to know. A small TV with a few stickers scattered around the sides. I used to do that. I had, like, Pokemon stickers that I used to put around my TV. There seems to be an open window labeled randomizer mode. I actually didn't know this was a thing. I didn't plan on a randomizer. This wasn't my plan. 
I'm I'm not going to. I want to. I always want to. But I also I want to actually play through the game <laughs> with with no challenges. I just want to enjoy the game. We'll have challenge being uh probably a 3DS game. It might be Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby, it might be Sun and Moon, it might be X and Y. I'm still actually not sure which of those I want to do once Myth is finished. But I do want to do one of those, and that will be my my game that I'm doing challenges in. So, it's fine. What do we have down here? Hayfield Path, which is blocked. Sorry about all this, sometimes the Mareep can be a little stubborn. But if you come back later, this will all be taken care of. Route blocked for now, so we need to head in the other direction. Which I believe is just north? Is that the only other way that we had left? Hello. Hey there, fellow adventurer. Looks like you're headed out on an adventure around Aiko. There's a couple of traveling tips for you. The region of Aiko, pronounced Ego. I've been saying it wrong. <laughs> is small but dense. The people and Pokemon in each area can change based on the time and weather. Another tip, don't be afraid to go through people's homes. Oh, okay. That's a sentence. To learn information from them and their belongings. Okay. The people of Ego. That's that just it doesn't seem right, but I'm I, I we'll see how long I hold up calling it Ego. I've experience with the Pokemon around here. They may have advice on raising them. Good luck. To like teach us about evolution methods and stuff? That could be handy actually. Moonstone Path. Hi. Hey, here's a tip. Wild Pokemon are lurking in the tall grass. If you see one walking around outside of the grass, be careful. Those ones are usually stronger. They hear that a roaming Pokemon even has a higher chance than normal to have its hidden ability. There is also a uh, Pokemon that will hunt you down. There is Poochiana in this game that will hunt you. And I mean hunt you. They will follow you across the entire route trying to like nibble on your toes. But not in the good way. To be honest, I don't think there is a good way. I'm... They will hunt you. <laughs> Uh, free orange berries? Yes, please. There is a Starly right there. And normally I'd be like, yes, please. I love Starly. I'd love to have that on my team. But to be honest, we already have a flying type. Which is odd. But we do. We have a flying type. We have Jiffy. So, I mean, we're probably just going to bubble. Is bubble good or bad in this game, actually, is a very good point. Is it base 20 or is it actually good? Oh, it's actually good bubble. Okay. All right. That means we have no need for water gun. We have good bubble. We just bubble. We get a crit on our first turn and get the speed drop. We get a crit speed drop on our first attack of the playthrough. That's it. This is this is going to be clean. We're going to have the most luck-filled playthrough. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be shinies everywhere. And I, I have my doubts. <laughs> but still. It is a crazy lucky first turn. That's for sure. What do you have? Half pint. Which I'm pretty sure kind of, just judging by appearance, can evolve into Miltank or Tauros. Um, we get Charmed, that's fine. We're bubbling anyway. That has no effect on us. It does outspeed us. Can we get another crit speed drop? That'd be crazy. We do not. Okay. Yep. That's fair. Getting two in a row would actually be nuts. I have no idea the chances of it, but it would be nuts. We have a speed tide all along. I guess at this level that shouldn't actually be too surprising because our speed was like nine. Wants to learn Nimbus Fist. Which is a water type physical move. A strike of condensed mist strikes the foe, lowering its accuracy. Guaranteed lower of accuracy, like mud slap? Is that guaranteed? If that's guaranteed, that's nuts. I still kind of want bubble. I'd like to have Tackle for anything that might resist Water-type moves, like an opposing Water-type, I guess. And I guess I'll keep Withdraw. Am I ever going to set up Defense? I'm probably more likely to lower a strong opposing Pokémon's defense than I am to want to set up my own defense. I'm getting rid of Withdraw. Okay. I'm already thinking about my move set at level 6. That's the point that I'm at. Weird. Really weird. Goodies. Repel, okay. Will I remember to use them in this playthrough? Probably not. <laughs> and a Pokeball, okay. So we could try and catch something if we see anything interesting. Another Pokeball. The goodies. Anything here? No. I kind of want to jump across to the side. We'll battle you first. 
Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Youngster Joey. He lives on in so many universes. Except he's called Youngster Grady here, and Grady is a strange name. Maybe it's just not a name that's common in the UK. It's a strange name to me. Nimbus Fist. Is it guaranteed lower of accuracy? It is not a guaranteed lower of accuracy. Okay. Okay. You know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. If it was base 20 power, it would probably have, like, the 100% chance of lower accuracy, like Mud Slap. It is stronger than that. It's basically like Tackle, but with a chance to make them mix. So, sure. It's, it's still kind of an upgrade to Tackle. It's an upgrade to Tackle in the fact that it has Stab, so... We get ourselves a red apricorn. I have no idea if we can find Kerr in this land. Take the tree, sure. Oh. The strongest Pokemon of all time. Haberby. Don't need to worry about that, though. I did goof on getting that item, but we should be able to grab that easy enough if I just run around. I don't want to miss that because it could be a Pokeball or something. It is, in fact, a Pokeball. Okay, all right, good. Um, we're not even going to need to get given, like, the five Pokeballs from our rival battle encounter, if that's a thing. Instead, we're just going to get all of our Pokeballs by running around and grabbing them. I, <laughs> yep, we sure are. Okay. There's a TM over there, but I'm going to assume we need Surf first. Hi. Hey there, trainer. I don't suppose you would like me to teach one of your Pokemon the move Heal Bell. That is a odd move to, to to get this early. Sadly, my egg can't learn Heal Bell. Tragic. And we also get one more antidote. Well, we do have some Pokeballs. If there was any Pokemon here that we wanted to catch, I feel like our team is going to be filled with very creative Pokemon. It's probably going to be full Fakemon. I don't know why I said creative, but full Fakemon. Probably not going to be using too many normal Pokemon like Caterpies and Starlies. See this here? Water, crystal clear, pristine, immaculate. This is the best kind of water you can fish from. If you can see the bottom of the pond, you know it's prime fishing area. Take it and give it a whirl with this old fishing rod I have with me. We obtained an old rod. We could, we could fish. I'm almost certain that we'll get a magic up, but we could fish. I should also try and make an effort to step on like as many different tiles as possible because there's so many, like, hidden items that I can pick up without having to, like, click on them. I just have to walk over them. I will probably miss more hidden items in this playthrough than many others, which is kind of funny. Let's do a battle, because I'll be thinking, hey, it's such an easy thing to do. I'll find them just on accident, and I won't go and click in the corners like I normally do. I'll be goofed by the convenience. Uh, Nimbus Fist. We do get the accuracy drop. So, so far, it's a 50% rate. I might try and actually calculate the chance by how often we use it and get the drop. It seems like a lot of effort. I'll probably forget to do that very quickly. But still, third one. Accuracy drop. Okay, so the chance might be... I mean... Okay. For everyone that doesn't know, sample size is important. You can't just use it three times, hit two out of three, and be like, boom, it's a great move. <laughs> Sample size is important. But so far, it seems good. Uh, false wipe. False wipe, huh? That would be convenient for catching Pokemon. And let's be real, tackle... It is tackle. I, I think it's worth having at this point. We'll get better normal type moves as we go on. We'll probably get the TM for return. We'll get strength and stuff like that if we really want to use them on this Pokemon, which to be honest, we probably won't. We'll probably want... Uh, if we can get a set, I have an idea in my mind. I don't know if it's something that I can do. I don't know if it can learn it. Obviously, I have not used this Squirrel before. Um... My mindset at the moment is, if we're a water flying type, we're not actually flying yet, but I know we will become flying, because, I mean, we're riding on a cloud. If we can get Rain Dance, Surf, Hurricane, Thunder, like a Kyogre with Drizzle, if we can get something like that with Rain Dance, that would probably be the, the set. Or Ice Beam. Actually, we might want Ice Beam over Thunder. Alice, wait up. Oh, hi. Glad I caught up to you. Professor wanted me to meet up with you to give you this piece of junk. Just an old broken gadget he was hoping Fawn could fix. Thinks you could get use out of it. An old gadget. 
I don't know what that is. By the way, if you catch too many Pokemon, they'll automatically be stored in Form's PC. Yeah, the person you're on your way to meet also made Ego's PC servers, allowing trainers from all over the region to store their Pokemon with ease. Well, I'm gonna head back to the lab. Keep going east, you'll hit Sea Ridge Town, a little further, and you'll reach Professor Fawn's lab. Good luck, Carlos. There you go, I went and healed your Pokemon too. That's very convenient, actually. Uh, I want to check this smart lady, actually. What do you sell? Uh, Pokeballs. Quick balls. Quick balls. I do like quick balls. Quick balls are very useful. I would not hate having a quick ball just as an option. But I also think that is where we are going to wrap up this first episode. We will probably go through this playthrough uh, a little bit on the quicker side is the plan. I say that at the start of every playthrough, it doesn't work out that way. But the plan is to go through this as a little bit of a quicker playthrough, uh, have some fun with it, show off all the features this game has because it is a very fun and enjoyable game. If you guys have enjoyed this first episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, 